Well, hello there. It's Mia, of course, because I definitely don't look like Dan. And this is my first vlog. What I wanted to do for this vlog was kind of basically tell you a bit about why we want to do the vlog. Obviously, Dan and I are two different people, and different things concern us. So when we find stuff that we're interested in, and if it's not interesting enough to cover in a news story for the Stuff and Things news show, then we'll just put it in here and kind of, you know, rant about it, talk about it, and ask you guys what you think about it sort of thing. We'd like to open up a conversation with you guys and really sort of get into topics that are debatable and sometimes will be completely silly and ridiculous and make no sense at all and it will just be for fun and and maybe, yeah, yeah. No, don't worry, we won't be making these incredibly long. We want to keep it as uh, sort of maybe probably about four to five minutes long. Maybe, maybe a four minute limit? Maybe. So we're thinking I'd do one one day and Dan would do one the next day sort of thing it, during the week. We don't know which days yet. Something really cool I found this morning while perusing the interwebs is that uh, at the Tel Aviv University, they have created a straw that you can use in your alcoholic drinks when you are out clubbing that will tell you whether or not your drink has been drugged. So basically you put the straw in your drink and if your drink looks exactly the same as the minute you got it or you know whatever, um, then you're fine, you're good to go, you can drink it. I know Rufy's for you. However, if the drink turns cloudy or a different color, then you know that somebody is trying to roofie you. The great thing about these straws is that you can use them over and over again as long as they don't detect any roofie drugs, but as soon as they do, you can't use them anymore. Now what they're trying to do is find a way that they can like produce these like en masse and at a very cheap cost so that every woman can have it. Cause well, we generally know that it's probably mostly women who are being drugged to be raped, which is a sad thing. And I, I would like to talk about the rape culture, but I think that might be for another video some other time down the road when I can sort of gather all my thoughts on it. So what do you guys think about things like these that try to hinder rape? So let me know in the comments down below and I will respond to them as long as they're not, well, you know, troll-like. So I will see you again alone in my vlog on Thursday because maybe that's what we're going to do. I don't know. We'll try it for a while and then we'll figure it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the new show in a little while.